Hello, welcome to another episode of IGF News. I am Abigail Usua with the latest headline for viewers in Ghana and across the globe. Coming for you this week in juvenile football, we have the Black Starlets missing out on playing in the 2023 AFCON. Also, Nigeria and Burkina Faso are to represent the Wafu Zone West B in the 2023 AFCON. GFA promises to support the Black Starlet squad. And Andre Dadeayu speaks on football development. The Ghana national under 17's men's team, the Black Starlets, missed their chance to play in the 2023 Total Energies Under 17 AFCON in Algeria. The turnout of events made it impossible for the Black Starlets to seal their way through to victory to the 2023 AFCON. The semi final match between Ghana and Burkina Faso, which took place at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium on the 21st of June 2022, had a 1 to 0 result in favour of Burkina Faso. The goal came from a penalty kick from Burkina Faso's Usman Kamara. The Black Starlets managed to earn a bronze by beating Cote d'Ivoire 3 2 in the match played on Friday, the 24th of June 2022. So we have Nigeria and Burkina Faso qualifying from the Wafu Zone West B to the 2023 Total Energies African Cup of Nations competition. The qualifying phase is organized in the six zones recognized in the CAF statuses. These zones are Northern Zone, Zone West A, Zone West B, Central Zone, Central East Zone, and Southern Zone. This year, each zone qualifies two teams with the exception of the Northern Zone, which will qualify only one team in addition to the host country team, Algeria. All the qualified teams from the various zones will be announced by the CAF for fixtures to follow. President Kurt E.S. Akraku has stated that the GFA will ensure that current national under-17 players continue their developmental agenda. The GFA president, who was in the dressing room immediately after the semi-final game against Burkina Faso, lauded the players for their performance and assured them of the GFA's support. We are with you. The developmental agenda of the FA will continue with this group. He added that this is not the end of the road. There are lots of talent in this group and we will give you the support to blossom. There are lots of big talents in this group, and these talents will blossom with our full support. The captain of the Black Stars, Andre Didi Ayu, after being awarded the Order of the Star at the Casio Trade Ball on Saturday, the 18th of June 2022, asked for the return of cold football. In an interview, he mentioned some players who played in the cold and are now great footballers and football legends. I think, um, let's be honest, if we want to talk about youth football, I played coast in Ghana. Samajan played coast, Stephen Apia, all the big names in Ghana football in the past years played in coast before getting to this level. So I think um, we should acknowledge and realize that coast football is very important. So it has to come back one way or the other. His wish is that cold football should be brought back. Cold football has been rebranded as juvenile football. There is currently an official juvenile league organized by the Ghana Football Association across the country as part of the development process. So this week, we wish to congratulate the Golden Eaglets of Nigeria for winning the Wafu Zone B tournament. Congratulations to you. One, two, and Nigeria champions of the Wafu and the 17 Zone B championship in Cape Coast or hell, the Golden Eagles. This is all we have for you this week. You can follow us on social media at Inside Juvenile Football. Thanks for joining us and the name is Abigail Usua. Stay safe.